Alright, so been gone for a while. A few uh a few annual celebrations that I needed to get uh taken care of and uh some travel time, some uh some vacation time that I needed. Uh lot has happened since the last video I put out but uh, I most likely will not even address half of it uh, I, I might cover some of the stuff that I've uh, you know, consumed the my, the normie consumer uh, you know, movies and, and content I might get to it but what I'm going to cover right now has to do with firearms not the not the recent thing um, but the the Department of Defense purchase of the 6.8 it's kinda interesting that they went with SIG I mean, they've been with Colt for a long time so now the SIG's got the contract whatever I don't know if SIG's an American company I should probably look that up that's something I should know uh, cool uh, finally getting a new weapon that's long overdue long overdue for something uh, better than a raccoon gun for those of you who uh, listen to politicians you are not only misinformed but you are well yeah you are you are misinformed and, and under informed and uh, under informed on the right things and over informed on the wrong things uh, a nine millimeter will not blow out your lungs as the former vice president of the United States says uh, it, that, that's incorrect um, the uh, the whole concept behind the caliber of 5.56 is to uh, maim or wound back in Vietnam for those of you who don't watch military arms channel back in Vietnam uh, we, we started off using uh, M14s the, the 762 by 51 there's a 308 round. Well, that was great and all, but uh, we needed something with it was lighter weight. You could carry more ammunition because the conflicts, the the, the the kinetic conflict, was like 50 to 100 yards max. Uh, the the only people that would have visual on somebody that, that needs to be shot is uh, helicopters. And even then, you know, has, it's an RPG being blasted from under the tree canopy. So, good luck, really. So, 5.56 was was developed so that you could carry more ammunition and and blast away into uh, thick foliage. You know, uh, I heard stories of uh, guys carrying Rhodesian jung uh, the the what is that called? Rhodesian rounds, the where it's like buckshot, birdshot, and sometimes something else packed into one round just to try and get whatever lead you're throwing in that general direction um, through the through the leaves uh, the the 556 five, was kind of effective ish effective for what it was needed for at the time uh, it definitely wasn't a stopping power round it was it was not the the weapon of mass destruction that politicians make it out to be and if you believe those people you're an idiot not you know, like I said not only misinformed but underinformed uh, in, in 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 the correct uh, ballistics I'm not a uh, not a ballistics expert but I can read the 556 five, round is a, is a is a varmint rifle it's a varmint round. Just just taking that platform of the 556. It's a uh, I mean any any weapon is a weapon of war if you look at it in that definition. The uh, six shooters muskets uh, I I believe there was some famous story about a guy taking down a taller dude with a slingshot so uh, pebbles and rocks are also weapons of war if you use that stupid definition a modern definition of weapons of war you know like a10 warthogs you know and that's that's kind of where it should stand uh, but I, I'm, I'm really I'm really happy with this 6.8 purchase 
mainly because I'm really sick of hearing stories of, hey, we couldn't we couldn't shoot this guy behind a wall. There wasn't enough penetrating power with a 5.56, five, and we blasted. We went through all of our ammunition to to get this guy behind a, a, a sheetrock wall or something. Maybe not sheetrock, but it's a, a stone wall that they couldn't get through. Meanwhile, they've got AK-40. The, the, the enemy has a the prefer, preferred weapon is the AK-47. So their their ammunition is you know about as big around as my pinky, uh, chunky. Uh, well, my pinky, most people's index fingers. Me, me and my massive vape light features <clears throat> to steal from Military Arms Channel. Uh, the, those rounds, the the AK-47 uses they they're made to kill. Period. Uh, our our rounds, the 556, was made to maim or wound, so that that one guy that gets shot has to be carried away by two or three people. So now instead of one person out of the battle, you've got three people out of the battle potentially. Yeah, okay, but we don't fight people who fight that way. We are the only ones who fight that way. And if we're on somebody else's home turf. Where are they going to go? You're they're already you're already at their house. Then nobody needs to be drugged away from the fight when the fight was in my living room. You know, it's kind of silly. Uh, we we don't we don't fight the same type of war anymore. And and politics and technology you know, always always fighting the last war anyway. So this new six point eight. Is uh, it's heavier, it's chunkier, it's got penetrating power, uh, basically the same style platform as the original Stoner 63, uh, or, or the the Stoner rifle, the the Armalite rifle model 15, not assault rifle, uh, where you have an upper, a lower uh, pistol grip, removable magazine, uh, bullet button, it's magazine release button. Um, bolt slide lock, the, the whole thing that looks like an AR. I absolutely adore the fact that we are now changing from the 5.56 to the 6.8 mainly because it's been used that the, the AR has been used uh, the 5.56 platform has been used as a political tool for a very long time. Diane Feinstein, um, Nancy Pelosi, uh, uh, Chuck Schumer, the the whole Democrat Party and rhinos, uh, and and morons, uh, useful idiots, all believe that the five five six is this massive nuclear weapon. It's a weapon of war. It'll it'll take a head off. It'll uh, you know, all these things that a, a seven six two's ballistics will not do. Well, I mean, it it won't take your head off. It'll just make, pop it or something. Um, but the, they, they act like it's a, a 50 cal round, and and most of these people that that argue that about a f uh, nobody needs an AR-15, Beto O'Rourke. Uh, most of the people that argue that have no idea that there are different sizes of lead that go through the barrel. You can change that out. They're kind of like those different size tires and cars. You know, they don't understand ballistics at all. They just understand the political talking points that CNN gave them. Because the Department of Defense has purchased the 6.8 uh, caliber rifles, it completely voids out the argument that an AR-15 is a weapon of mass destruction. Because the Department of Defense said so. The Department of Defense finally made the decision to purchase a higher caliber rifle because the 5.56 sucks at war. It only took them 60 years to figure that out, but it's hilarious. It's funny to me. That that argument is, is null and void. You cannot use that argument anymore. So, the purpose of an AR-15 now, one, it looks cool. Um, two, they're easy to use. Yes, you can use them for hunting, but they're mainly now a self-defense weapon on the 5.56 platform. It's mainly a self-defense platform. Now that the Department of Defense has purchased a 6.8 caliber weapon. Uh, kind of silly to me uh, that we didn't just bump back up to a 7.62. Uh, 
maybe maybe the ballistics are better for a 6.8 than uh, a 7.62 by 51. I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't uh, read or seen anything on that. Uh, and my question, my biggest question was why, why, why go to a 6.8? Why not go to a 7.62 by 51? That was that's definitely a head scratcher for me when we had this massive stockpile, just tons of 7.62 uh, 308s uh, sitting in in uh, stockpile in in in, uh, in the warehouse, the backlog. What well, we'll probably have to blow through all the 5.56 at the range, you know, just use use what we have. Uh, I'm sure they'll just destroy them because it's the government. They, they destroy. ISO containers full of lumber because reasons budget um, it's, it's, uh, it's something the uh, something military arms channel hit on was why now why are they doing this now well there is speculation that uh, we had this massive inflated budget during the Afghanistan war and now that's over cancel hey, we hit the cancel button um, so what do we oh, oh crap uh, we had this massive budget we have to use the money or we don't get any more money next year buy new guns I mean they left them all in the desert uh, Humvees and tanks and things yeah just, yeah, just leave the APCs uh, we'll, we'll buy new ones so next year we'll probably get a new type of jet the next year we'll get a, no, a, a new uh, vehicle or APC or type of MRE. Um, there's, pro there's probably going to be some new uh, uniform color changes, new, new camouflage patterns, and, and I really hope the Marine Corps stays with theirs. To, to quote, uh, I think it was General Mattis, I said they need to stick to the. Uh, they're going to stick to the Marpat, the Marpat camouflage pattern, um, like a hobo on a ham sandwich. I really hope they they. Love the pattern. I like that. This is the one. It's the one I grew up with. It's, it's the one I, one I deployed with. I really, really enjoy that, that Marpat camp. Of course. Uh, so that there, there are some, some other reasons why they may have switched to the 6.8. And uh, Military Arms Channel did state this that. Uh, maybe it was because uh, China is starting to claim that they have titanium body armor. Well, I, I could believe that because they pretty much have all the mineral rights on, on most of the planet, so they could could potentially have all the titanium body armor. Uh, Russia, we don't know. They There's no clue. Uh, other than, you know, we, we see them with the... Uh, tightly knit wool jackets and that's about it maybe uh, maybe the purpose is to uh, crush uh, crush a foreign Soviet enemy with uh, with a higher caliber weapon since they're still rocking the the 762 by 39 uh, uh, new new war new weapons but uh, got a I put on my tinfoil hat for a second and uh, come up with my reasons. I, I, I personally think that potentially, um, I haven't seen any ballistics on it. I haven't seen any tests. I'd like. I, I would love to see Demolition Ranch do something on this. Uh, I believe the 6.8 can cut through a ceramic plate body armor really easily, especially level three. Like civilian plates. So if the 6.8 can bust through a civilian plate, that may be the reason why they're going to 6.8s. The ballistics of a 6.8 may may be exactly what they're looking for uh, for uh, you know another Ruby Ridge or Waco. Just a thought. Just, just that's just me. Uh, but you know, again, my favorite part about the entire event is that you can't use the five-five-six platform as a political tool anymore because, as a weapon of war, they suck. 
I, you know, friends with infantrymen who have stated that. Shoot, shoot a guy, and he'll still he still fight because oh, I, I kind of stab my leg, it itches a little bit. Eh, I'll keep going. Um, there's there's the off chance that uh, you know it could go in your chest and come out your foot. They, they tumble around and break and fragment and do all kinds of stuff. But uh, on, on the average, not not yeah. doesn't. <laughs> doesn't look, blow out your lungs. Uh, oh, and that's that's the other thing for the for the uh, the Sig forty five. I think the Air Force is using now. Um, the nine mil sucks as a weapon of war too. Look at that. Oh, I, I I really hope that uh for uh, for the home defense uh, market. I I really hope that. Uh, the dude bros and uh, the wannabes rush out and buy 6.8s as much as possible so that can alleviate the uh, possibility of me picking up some cheaper 5.56 and 7.62 and uh, you know because when when uh, when you're worried about somebody uh, else who has a 5.56 jumping into your house and uh, you want to fight them with the same caliber to at least, you know, even out the playing field. I get that. It's kind of silly because it could probably go through the wall and uh, potentially hurt somebody you care about. But, uh, like I say, I, 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 really, I really hope that um, people who can uh, start to make a run on the 6.8s so that it, it frees up other calibers. Not that I have any, um, you know, boating accidents and whatnot. 